All right, so now I have strips glued all the way around my uh, leg seams, leg hole seams, both of them. I got them rolled real nice and flat, got all the air bubbles out, wrinkles out. I'll probably uh, give them another roll uh, here in, in 10 minutes or so, just to kind of give them extra strength. I just finished them. Now the next thing to do is if you're going to plan on uh, reinforcing, this is the time to do it before you uh, do anything else. So we still have the waist uh, opening. It's not glued together yet. As you can see, this is the waist opening here. We still need to add our inflation valve, but it kind of gets in the way if you're gonna be doing uh, reinforcements. So now's the time to do the reinforcement. What you can do is you can cut the same um, half inch wide. Uh, you can even go down a little bit to like 3 eighths if you want to, but I wouldn't go any smaller than 3 eighths. So 3 eighths to half an inch. Uh, as far as the width and just cut a whole bunch of strips and then what you're going to do <clears throat> you're going to glue those on the inside on the mat side and then if you only want to do the outside which is if you're going to uh, reinforce just one side you want to do the outside because the it inflates and it puts a lot of pressure on these seams and if you're going to wear these in the water um then those are gonna experience a lot of stress. So you can do just those, or you can do those uh, outside seams as well as the, uh, the ones that are on the inner layer. And what you wanna do is it's the same technique as what you just did uh, for gluing the strip down uh, on the, the leg hole. You're gonna do the exact same thing. You're gonna glue it and it's gonna go, just as an example, let me get a piece. It's gonna go uh, half over, like the blue side and the white side, for example. So you're gonna glue that halfway over. One thing to point out, you really wanna roll it nice because if you don't, you'll actually be able to see like bubbles or wrinkles, things like that from the outside. You'll be able to tell. So spend some time and roll this. I would do it over a jar just the same. In fact, you can turn this completely uh, inside out so that you've got it's a little bit weird when you do this because um, you cut the two leg holes connected together and then you end up with this weird little uh, tunnel kind of thing down here but at least this gives you the ability to just see everything so what you have is you've got um, on each layer meaning like the, the inner layer and the outer layer, you've got four really long uh, seams to reinforce. You've got this one, this one, and then if you flip it over, you've got this one and that one. And then of course on the other layer, you have the, those same, same four long seams. Then you have some shorter ones. So you have a seam on the side. This will end up on your hip. So you have this one here, and then you've got this one. Now, if you're doing both inner and outer, you could just do like a strip straight across. Don't stop short of like where you've glued them together because I have seen like if, if you reinforce and you stop about, you know, half an inch, that can actually still tear open later on. So you just want to do the whole thing. Uh, you also have a couple of really short ones down here in the crotch area. They're a little bit weird because the way these things are glued together, you kind of have to like reach in this little tunnel piece and pull this out enough to where you can see the little center cap that's on the bottom of, the, of both beach balls. So you got to kind of work with this here and pull this out. There's one of them right there. And if I keep, oh, there we go. There's the other one right there. So there's one and there's one. There is a short seam that goes between uh, the center caps. It's right there. You wanna make sure you don't miss that one. So you got one and then you've got two. So make sure you get those reinforced as well. 
So that's the idea. If you want to uh, reinforce it, I highly recommend it. If you're going to be rough with them, if you're going to be sitting in them, if you're going to be going in water with them, you want to reinforce them. If you're not going to, if you're just going to wear them and you're not going to be real uh, ag aggressive with them, then you probably don't need to reinforce them. So anyhow, uh, that's the idea uh, behind the reinforcement. So after you get that done, if you choose to do the reinforcement, you're going to flip them right side out. So that we've got our pinks together and the shiny is on the outside and shiny is on the inside. We want to go ahead and do our inflation valve next. Typically, I like to put this in the front, off to one, one side. So our front is the pink. What I generally will do is I'll, I'll put it in one of these white areas here, like kind of right up in, right up into about here. You don't want to go too close to the top, so kind of right in here. Um, here's that inflation valve. I'm going to put the cap on it. And what we're going to do is we're going to um, cut out a circle. If you want, you can you can kind of use this as a um, as a way to uh, get your circle. Grab my sharpie there. All right. So. What I'm doing is I'm drawing this circle on the inner part. You can see there's like an inner and an outer. That, and what that corresponds to is this is the, the inner and then that's the outer. You can measure that if you want. I, I think it's, I'm gonna say it's about an inch. Yep, it is an inch. So if you want, if you got a way to draw on it, about an inch. Actually, what we wanna do is we wanna cut that a little bit smaller because I want it to stretch. It's much better if it's too small than too big. So I'm gonna just cut close to where I drew. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do it like this, where I kind of cut little T. Then I'm gonna kind of make a circle out of this. and I'm making it just a little bit smaller. I'd rather it stretch. So you see that there. What I can do is use a little bit of uh, rubbing alcohol or isopropyl alcohol to get that off. I'll go ahead and do that now before I get any glue on it. Because if you get glue over that, you won't be able to wipe the Sharpie off. Usually I like to do my tab kind of like, like that, so that it kind of, when you reach down, you can kind of grab it Pull it up. So I'm going to stick it from underneath. Kind of work it into this hole. And you see what's happening is it's kind of going up the side of the valve just a little bit. But I want the vinyl to come all the way down flat with the bottom. You can kind of see from the other side that it's able to lay pretty flat. Now... I'm going to take my glue put a decent amount this is important that we get this glued well and if you need to if you put too much you can always take a paper towel kind of use that to to sop up the excess if it, squishes it, if it squeezes out. Now the cool thing is looking from this side, it's clear so you can see if it's bonded well. Make sure there's no bubbles. Make sure it's all the way to the edge of the little rim there. We don't have a lot of 
surface area to glue on this thing. So we want to make sure that we get plenty of glue. I'd rather have too much and have it kind of squish out and then have to like wipe it up than not have enough. And I'm going to kind of, kind of go all the way around here, make sure there are no gaps. And what you can do is once you get it done, just push on it and inspect. Make sure if I zoom in, you can see you don't want any bubbles. Flip it over, you can kind of look at the top, you can kind of see, oh, there's a little bit of a kind of wrinkle and a little bit of a bubble. You can kind of try to work these out. It's good to look at both sides. And just work with it for a minute or two until it's... Uh, set up, kind of push with your thumbs. If you need to slide the material kind of, you know, to get any sort of little wrinkle opened up. good there. So the next step is to go ahead and seal the uh, waist together the same way that we did the leg openings. We will do a, a little uh, 16th to an eighth inch overlap. The cool thing is, is we will be able to line up all of these different seams as we're going. So we have, we have a way to check as we go from seam uh, cross one seam to crossing another seam to make sure we don't have excess so we will we will do an overlap go all the way around and then we'll glue a, um, a half inch piece over it if you want to you could kind of do sections if you you could match the white and then you could match you know either the the blue or the yellow and then the white again and then either the blue or the yellow and the white. Make sure before you seal this up that you don't have anything in here. You don't have tools, you don't have your scissors. Kind of look and make sure that uh, you're ready to seal these things up.